configure a static NAT. Test access without NAT. Attempt to connect server 1 using simulation mode. Try to connect server 1. Switch to simulation mode. Okay, click here, simulation. From PC1 or L1, use web browser to attempt to connect server 1. Okay, from PC1 or L1, I will use PC1, click here. Uh, web browser. Okay, 172.16.16.1. The inside IP address of server 1. 172.16.16.1. Okay, and capture forward button. Okay, click here, this button, capture forward. Again, 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 click, click, click. Click buffer full, clear event list. Notice how packets never leave the internet cloud. The attempts should fail. Okay, exit simulation mode. Okay, click to real time to exit simulation mode, real time. From PC1 ping R1 serial 000 interface. Okay, R from PC1 ping serial 000 on R1. Go to PC1, close the web browser, request timeout, close the web browser, command prompt, ping space 209.165.201.2. to enter. Okay, success success the pink should succeed okay. view r1 routing table and running config view the running configuration of r1 note that there are no commands referring to NAT. an easy way to confirm this is to issue the following command show running config pipe include NAT. okay go to r1 Enter, enable, show running config pipe. Include all lines in include all lines that contains NAT keyword. Enter. No results. Verify that the routing table does not contain entries referring to IP network addresses for PC1 and L1. Okay. Show IP root. Okay. Show IP root. Routing table. IP root. 172.16.16.0. 16, is this network. 172.16.16.0. And uh, 209.165.201.0. Is this another network? 209.165.201.0. No information about the networks of PC1 and L1. No information. Okay. Verify that NAT is not being used by R1. Show IP NAT translations. Okay. Go to R1. Show IP NAT translations. Enter. No information. Okay. Configure a static NAT. Configure static NAT statements. Create a static NAT translation to map the server inside address to its outside address. And use this. Okay. Remember, server one has an inside address. Okay. Translate the private to a public interface. Okay. Translate the inside address to an outside address or 
translate the private IP address to a public IP address. Okay, go to R1, configure terminal to go global configuration mode. IP not inside source static. The inside 172.16.16.1. 172.16.16.1 and the outside space space 64 151. That is enough. Enter. Configure interfaces. Configure gigabit zero zero interface as an inside interface. Okay, you configure it not on R1, but now it's time to configure interfaces for NAT. Gigabit zero zero is inside. Okay, R1. Interface you with zero zero IP not inside enter. Configure serial zero 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 public interface as an outside interface. This is another serial zero 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 on R1. Serial zero zero zero. IP not outside. Okay, very good. Exit. Test access. Verify connectivity to the server one web page. Open command prompt on PC one or L one. Attempt to ping the public address for server one. Okay. Go to PC one for example and ping the public address of server one. The public address is outside address 64151. Success. Okay. Verify that both PC1 and L1 can now access Server1 web page. Okay. Go to PC1. Close command prompt, open web browser, and use the public IP address of Server1 64151. Go. Server1, welcome. Very nice. And go to L1. Web browser URL 64151. Go. Very nice. View uh, not translation. Use the following commands to verify. Show running config. Show IP not translations. Show IP not statistics. Okay, on R1. And to go privilege exit mode and show running config. Okay, uh, space, 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 uh, serial 000, zero, zero, IP not outside, gigabit 00, zero, IP not inside, okay, inside, gigabit 00, zero, outside, serial 000, zero, zero, IP not inside, source static, inside local or private IP, and um, Outside IP address that is public IP address. Space, you can use the pipe, show run pipe, pipe, and include all lines that contains NAT keyword. You will see the NAT on interfaces and NAT configuration, a static NAT configuration, static. Show IP NAT. Translation. You can see that 64151, the inside global IP address, is translated to inside local 172.16.16.1. Okay, 64150.1. Translated to 72.16.16.1. And both using port 80. Port 80. This is the static entry I just configured. Okay. But these are the sessions. Okay. Uh, 
Show IP NAT statistics. Show IP NAT statistics. Enter. Total translations. Three. One, two, three. One static. One static. Two dynamic. Two dynamic. Two extended. Two extended. Outside the interface, zero, 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 zero. Outside, zero, 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 zero. Inside, you go with zero, zero. Inside, you go with zero, zero. Completion 100%. Thank you very much.